head which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us that bread always. Jesus answered them, I am the bread of life. No one who comes to me will ever hunger. No one who believes in me will ever thirst. But as I have told you, you can see me and still you do not believe. Everyone whom the Father gives me will come to me. I will certainly not reject anyone who comes to me because I have come from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. It is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and that I should raise that person up on the last day. Meanwhile, the Jews were complaining to each other about him, because he had said, I am the bread that has come down from heaven. They were saying, Surely this is Jesus, son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know. How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus said in reply to them, Stop complaining to each other. No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has listened to the Father and learnt from Him comes to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father, except him who has his being from God. He has seen the Father. In all truth I tell you, everyone who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate manna in the desert, and they are dead. But this is the bread which comes down from heaven, so that a person may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Then the Jews started arguing among themselves, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus replied to them, in all truth I tell you, if you do not